Hello world, Mr. Resistor here, continuing with our alpha adventure, and continuing with faction warfare. Um, so quick status check, uh, nothing here we need to deal with right now. Um, money wise, 67 million, not terrible. We are training our grid management five. Um, and we have a whole bunch of ISK in our uh, cargo hold. So, and some of it, at least, needs to go to ammo, which is six jumps away. So that's our first task for today. Let's hope we can get there safely. sure we're looking at local down here, which we are, and Orb drive active. don't know who that is, but they're not doing faction warfare, so I'm not going to worry about it. Now, I'm assuming at least two or three of these are more of those Republic data hubs. Um, not going to scan them down today, so I want to get this stuff turned in and uh, see what we get for it. Right, um, so far all we've managed to do is capture a couple of Minmatar novice okay. sites. Um, this is busy. Egmar. It's like that's where stuff's popping off. Hopefully they're not camping the gate. And if they are, hopefully I can get through it. Oh, crap. Alright. Well got through it. Go, 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 go. Warp drive active. <laughs> Most likely they've got bigger fish to fry than me. following the same route. That could be unfortunate. I guess as long as they keep jumping. Warp drive active. is a little bit nerve-wracking, I have to say. Looks like people are trying to make a move on. How does that go? That'd be cool.
Okay, so... Hopefully Resbroco is still... Minotaur controlled. And relatively quiet. Looks like it... is... Stable. Cool. Warp drive active. forget how big this system is. So, I didn't see it stated directly, Warp drive but active. my impression is that um, the research lab where I need to turn these in has to be scanned down. So I suspect that might be what this is. <clears throat> so sit here where I'm tethered. Do my scanning. about this then uh, just have to try every station until we find it I guess <coughs> is it this thing maybe public research facility hmm, maybe I was wrong maybe I don't need to scan it down scan this down anyway, since I'm already on it.
Okay. Now what? Aha. Okay. So, inventory loyalty tokens. What do those do? For exclusive early access blueprint copies. Oh ho ho. <coughs> Bob Drive active. <coughs> okay. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. How many of these do I need? Hundred and twenty five for the probe fleet issue and twelve fifty for the cyclone. <coughs> now this is interesting. Seven seventy five. <clears throat> These right here, this is this is new to me. I didn't know there was a way to buy these with with uh from NPCs, I guess, is maybe the way to put it. Okay, so we've got... <clears throat> got a whole lot of implants.
<clears throat> uh, Republic Fleet Ammo. Um, generally a pretty good upgrade if you can, if you can afford it, uh, use it. <clears throat> that actually kind of reminds me. Um, I guess we'll call this a a uh, conversation with Planet Head. Um, so we were. Um. He had just jumped into space and was going into the faction warfare area, but not actually joining faction warfare, which, I mean, I understand not joining faction warfare, but if you're going to jump into that space and try and get into some fights, I, I feel like um, you're really kind of limiting yourself um, and certainly cutting yourself off from potential rewards. Um, and participation in the activities, right? Like capping the sites and stuff. You can't, as we found out, you can't do unless you are uh, registered for faction warfare. Um, so, yeah, I, I mean, you know, everybody, everybody should play the game the way that they want to play it. And so I'm not, not saying he's wrong. Um, but I will say there's maybe some other things worth, uh, worth considering in that. Um, it's maybe worth putting a little bit more thought into that decision, I guess is, is what I would say. Um, but what made me think about that, um, was we were talking about ammo. And why I always use phase plasma. Um, right, and it comes down to these right here. Right, resistances. Um, it's a general rule. Shields are weak against EM and thermal. Strong against kinetic and explosive, right? Armor kind of goes the opposite. Strong against DM and thermal. Uh, weaker against kinetic and um, explosive. <clears throat> Do I have any ammo in here? I don't. Uh, but we can come in here. Right, so the three sort of short range high damage uh, ammos are EMP. So let me see if I can get this to work the way I want it to. Uh, fusion and face plasma. Alrighty, so. put these all side by side so we can compare them, right? So, description. Um, focus DM pulse, very potent against shields, 50% reduced optimal range, right? All three of these have 50% reduced optimal range, um, but they're doing higher damage. But the difference is how they do damage, right? All projectile uh, ammo does kinetic, at least a little bit. Um, so out of 12 points base, right, we're getting one kinetic, two explosive, three, or sorry, nine, uh, EM. Fusion, we had two kinetic, 10 explosive, right? So, 
as we were saying earlier, this is going to be strong against shields, right, which are weak against EM. Got a little bit of kinetic and explosive, so it'll eventually punch through um, uh, armor, but it'll take a while. So if you're going to rock EM, you almost always want to also bring some fusion which means you have to be not doing damage for about 10 seconds while you switch from EMP to fusion um, and then you can start taking down their armor um, <coughs> base plasma kind of in the middle right a lot of thermal damage couple points of kinetic right but I'll go ahead get these out of the way and show you why right okay so good against shields not as good as EM but still pretty good right um, now look at the ammo or sorry armor armor resists right massive EM resistance significantly less thermal resistance and you know gets better over here too and this is this is with a with a booster right so if I simulate this um, actually let me get maybe a little bit more to the point and go with um, Mar frigates, so let's say, I don't know, what do we see a lot of? Uh, let's go with Tormentor, maybe. Uh, it's a fairly basic. Right, so baseline, Tormentor. You've got 20%. Uh, Thermal resist on shields, 40% kinetic, 35% thermal for armor, 25% kinetic, right? So it's not going to be as effective as shields, against shields, as EMP. It's not going to be as effective uh, on armor um, as fusion, but you're going to have a steady, fairly steady output. Um, of damage uh, <coughs> so it's going to be it's going to be decent for both um, you'll make some progress no matter what you're trying to take out and um, and you don't have to stop dealing damage um, in my experience um being able to continuously do damage and you know in your worst case scenario maybe you're waging a war of attrition against their tank right in which case stopping for 10 sec stopping doing damage for 10 seconds to reload your guns might give them the breathing room they need to keep going right so um in my experience I don't see it as being worthwhile to swap out ammo um, mid-fight. I'd rather just have one type of ammo, be able to carry a lot of it so I'm not going to run out, and just be able to continuously do decent damage, even if I'm not at the peak possible damage at any given moment, I know I'm going to be able to continue uh, doing damage throughout the fight and you know maybe that's wrong maybe I'm doing it the dumb way I don't know but that's my thoughts on it so um, <clears throat> if anyone has different theories um, I'd, I'd love to hear them anyway 
that's what I wanted to say about that. And that's <clears throat> that's why I'm making and using phase plasma. Um, when I'm not using drones, which is, if I'm honest, it's kind of actually my preference. Um, all right. So anyway, we've got skilling spree to take care of. So I am going to go ahead and jumps away is this no oh, that's way too money I'm not going that far all right Ugh. destroyer frigate holler okay Jesus, why? Well, huh. <clears throat> Okay, well, um, <clears throat> we've got all this stuff safely left here. really hoping I could just go get a couple of easy kills drive active. call it a night, but that is apparently not what the Republic has planned for me.
warp drive active. Active. Warp drive active. Warp drive active. drive active. Drive active. Warp drive active. Warp drive active.
Okay. So. Here we go, I guess. Active. This is going to be tricky. So... Our basic strategy here is keep our distance Keep an eye on our drones. Just try not to die. Pull that guy in. Launch one of you. after it. of these guys as much as possible. That's basically our only hope of survival. thing is, I don't know if we're going to have, okay, good, <clears throat> so we got one, four, five, six, seven, so that's only going to be eight kills, so we're going to need two more, which, maybe we try to cap an outpost? We'll keep an eye out down here. Seems like it's been fairly quiet. But again, we don't know. We don't know who might be lurking. Uh...
<clears throat> just not uh, in local. So, um, anyway, I know I've talked about kiting uh, before as a tanking strategy. That is what we are doing here, right? Keeping them coming after us um, while hitting them from out of, out of their range. That's basically the theory. Um, you know, and hopefully we can do enough damage to get through their tank. Right? These being a Mar ship, so I have to assume that they are armor tanked, so shields are going to go down fairly easily. Um, but armor could be a problem. I might not be able to take these guys out, which would be unfortunate. Alright, so, okay, seem to be making progress on the armor. He doesn't seem to be healing it, which is a little bit surprising. Or repairing, I guess you should say. <laughs> uh, let's take a look at info here. Right, so... He does 50-50 um, EM and Thermal. Got no shield resists, which is about what I expect. And then... Uh, fairly standard armor resists. And same for hull. So, let's take a look... Uh, what you're doing for damage. Uh, right, so, no structure, usual for armor and shields. Um, where does it say what? Ah, here we go. So, we're doing ex mainly, well, only explosive. Um, so, yeah. Um, he's got decent resists against explosive, and... Oh, I mixed that up. Interesting. So his armor and shield resist are the same. Weird. And then no resist for structure. Okay. Now we do the same for this guy. little too close due to my speed bump there. Of course, 
Yes, we are. Armor tanked, so... Are we back out of his range? Hopefully. Yeah. Just dipped just barely into his gun range for a second there. We're, we're right at the edge, so he's still hitting us a little bit. Maybe I want to try orbiting. Be the <clears throat> traversal will make me a little bit harder to hit while still maintaining distance. the micro warp also. That should increase his difficulty in hitting us. We're pretty far out, so we're not getting as much uh, relative angular velocity as we might like. But it's still working out for us. Yeah, see, now he's got tank. So the question is, can we get through his tank? It's looking like maybe we can't, but <laughs> our drones don't run out of ammo, and he might run low on cap, so. We shall see. Slow and steady. Making progress. So keeping an eye on local. Probably be scanning as well. Let's give distance. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. It is entirely possible that we'll get to a point with his tank where we're just not able to to get any further with it. Um, we do seem to be cap stable as we are right now, though, so that's cool. Should probably reload that just to be safe. <clears throat> yeah, look, he's making gains. I do not like it. It's not good. Oh. One percent, forty seven. It always seems to bounce back when we get a little bit more than halfway, but let's see if we can make up those gains. Seem to be making some progress, down to 39%. Four, back up to 49. Now what we might do
turn hit points, turn optimal range and fall off, turn damage. Try that. Maybe that'll give us the edge we need. That seems to have done it. Mm -hmm. Once we get into hull, then we know we've got him. Yeah, there we go. Dipping into structure. That's the good stuff. A module has run out of charges. Oh boy. This is still a long and difficult fight. I mean, even though it may not feel like I'm doing much, it's, uh, well, it's because I'm not doing much. The drones are doing the work, and I'm just sitting here hoping they're successful. Come on. No, oh, don't let him get his armor back. We're so close. So one thing I could try is orbiting closer. That would give me more angular velocity relative to him, making me harder to hit. But then when he does hit me, it hurt more. Come on, drones, you can do it.
Right, a module actually, has run out of charges. Oh. Okay. Well. Let's see what we get for loot. Let's go ahead and unload that, since we don't need quick repairs. <clears throat> so I can reload it. So, probably want to have Another full reload of nanites. And at least a couple more of uh, the cap thingies. I have another character, as I've mentioned before, specializes in manufacturing and has blueprints for pretty much all of this stuff. So, um, I'm going to Build a bunch of it, including a couple of ship hulls. Um, I've actually already made a couple of rifters and, uh, and a slasher, I think, um, just because I happen to have those blueprints and the materials laying around. Um, so, and then I will um, sell them by contract. at I don't know either Jita price or heck price I guess I haven't really decided how I want to price that kind of the <clears throat> the usual standard is is uh, Jita price or 90% of Jita um, for contracted uh, contracted production Right, the general, <clears throat> the general idea being you don't have to worry about trying to sell it, right? You're saving something like 10% on taxes and whatnot um, by having it contracted.
All right, so now the question is, we need two more kills. We can go into a novice site, and as long as no one comes in for PvP, should be able to get our two kills without any difficulty. If someone does come in for PvP, then we're probably screwed, um, especially in our depleted state. Um, and then we have to get back to safety, which means out of uh, <coughs> low sec Amar space. And so here we are now. I don't see anywhere. It's close by. Rushar. I don't know where that is. We are heck is eleven jumps. Uh, let's see. Doesn't tell us sovereignty though. Six jumps. Seaside. Okay, I have a vague idea where that is. Yeah, okay. Well, we have a plan. Seaside puts us near Galente space, if I remember correctly. So if someone comes at us or we're trying to do the novice thing, <laughs> then uh, maybe we can jump out. And let's see. So it's going to be another long one, it looks like. Maybe I should cut it here. And uh, yeah, I think I will do that. I will cut it here and uh, so this will be another two-parter, I guess. All right, well, until next time, have a good one.